wondering if there was a God who he still believes who God is, right? Remember the first point. Did Joseph ever leave that moment? Yeah, he had his rough moments, but he didn't stop believing in God. He believed God who he said he was because God was using Joseph in that circumstance. How long would it take for Joseph to persevere through his circumstances? Joseph could have given his brothers payback, but Joseph had settled something in his heart a long time before. Before his brothers ever arrived in Egypt where God saved their lives through him. And isn't it interesting that Joseph died an Israelite in Egypt. He didn't get to go back to Canaan. He didn't get to go back to the home country. But when God freed the Israelites 400 years later, I think I have my numbers right. A great number of years later, several centuries later, they promised Joseph that his bones would be carried. And what is it about the Israelites that would remember 400 years later to carry Joseph's now deceased bones back that he could be buried in the land of his father? Could it be because one man, Joseph, learned to live in joy and with the Holy Spirit? Hmm. Do you think anyone's going to remember you after 400 years? I, for me, I kind of doubt it, you know? But that's not really the point. But that did happen because one man decided that he knew who God was and is, who he was and is, and the rest came together. Obedience flowed, circumstances given to God flowed. Is it possible that you're at a place today where you can say, I want to obey God, I want to give him the circumstances of my life so that God can use me the way he wants to use me? Are you about to save a nation? I hope so, because I know one that needs to be saved. Amen. 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 Aren't you tired? Aren't you tired of saying, we're never going to make it through? And the disciples walked and were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. What kind of walk are you going to take today? Heavenly Father, there's a whole lot of joy in our hearts this morning as we think about your word and this message today. Lord, the, the apostles were something else. This day they got it right. And we thank you for that. Oh, how we worship you this morning. Oh, how we want more of you. Would you help each one of us to settle in our hearts, settle in our hearts who you are and who we are. May we, as the people of God, choose to walk in joy and with the Holy Spirit. Would you give us that mantra, that, that phrase that we can carry with us in the days to come. And we'll give you the praise in Jesus' name. Amen. This morning, let's uh, close by singing a hymn, Trust in the Lord, uh, Trust and Obey, rather, and uh, we'll sing just two verses of this. That second verse, I love the first verse, uh, but, but the second verse, I think, just rang in my heart, and I want us to sing that, and let that be.